Cholangiocarcinoma with obstruction of the right hepatic duct. A 75-year-old woman presented with a large liver mass and jaundice. The patient had a history of PSC and the serum CA19-9 level was over 200,000. CT scan showed a large central mass near the level of the bifurcation with right-sided intrahepatic ductal dilation. The mass is shown with an arrow. Initial cholangiogram showed a normal common hepatic and common bile duct, but tight stenosis of the right hepatic duct and a parallel right-sided duct. There was right-sided intrahepatic ductal dilation and diffuse changes consistent with primary sclerosis and cholangitis. We dilated the right hepatic duct with a 6 mm by 4 cm biliary dilating balloon and obtained brushings thereafter. We then advanced the single operator cholangioscope to the level of the right hepatic duct for direct observation. Under cholangioscopy, the right hepatic duct was grossly abnormal with a tight stenotic lumen and what appeared to be nodular malignant tissue seen directly. The miniature forceps was advanced to the level of the right hepatic duct and multiple biopsies were obtained. Tissue was sent for histologic evaluation. We then place an 8.5 French by 15 centimeter long plastic biliary stent with excellent drainage of bile and contrast seen. We then performed endoscopic ultrasound and identified a 15 millimeter periportal lymph node which was sampled by EUS guided fine needle aspiration. Tissue was obtained and sent for cytopathologic analysis. Both the biopsies and the EUS-guided FNA sample were positive for cholangiocarcinoma.